Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from ExhibitAutomation.com and welcome to the next video on our Selenium with C-Sharp in .NET Core 2.0. So today we can talk about an introduction to partially working Selenium 3.6.0 in .NET Core 2.0. So let's get started. Selenium running .NET Core. We have already discussed about Selenium running in .NET Core 2.0 with Visual Studio 2017 preview previously in one of the video which we released a couple of months before and you can watch in this particular URL at, as it is mentioned in here. What's new change in 3.6.0? Well, Selenium 3.6.0 is the first official package to natively support .NET Core 2.0 as opposed to 3.4.0 which we saw in our previous video which caused some of the warnings in the references that you add from the NuGet package, something like this. And you can see in the right hand side the dependencies right now with 3.6.0 of Selenium has no warning, meaning it is currently officially supported with .NET 2.0, whereas the 3.4.0 does not actually officially support the Selenium .NET Core package, but still we could able to run the code and we saw how the test was working fine without any problem. But why is it partially supported suddenly while we still see the error that we were seeing before is currently resolved, at least in terms of the .NET package installation? Well, Selenium 3.6.0 is missing one of the most important class, which is page factory used for page object models and page navigations. So this is one of the most important class as shown in here for Selenium 3.6 in .NET 4.6.1 framework. You can see that we have a class called page factory, whereas the same class is currently missing in .NET Core 2.0. So you can see that the page factory class itself is completely taken down and if you try to install it in the .NET Core 2.0 project, you will not see that particular class which is basically used for page object model. So without this page factory class, you cannot init the elements to initialize all the objects for the particular class and you cannot even perform a single page object model kind of code with .NET Core 2.0 and this is an open issue as the URL here, the github slash selenium hq slash selenium with issues of 4387. You can still find this particular issue and it is in currently in open state. Maybe in 3.7.0 or 3.8.0, this issue will be addressed. But as of now, this is one of the most burning issue, I guess. So how will the error looks like in the code? If you try to consume the page factory, you will see this error saying the page factory does not exist in the current contest. So it cannot resolve the symbol page factory. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to Visual Studio. All right, so now I'm in my Visual Studio 2017 IDE and I'm gonna create a new project this time with .NET Core 2.0. So basically I should go to this particular template .NET Core and you can select one of the uh, class console application project or and you can select the console application project or the class library project or unit test project, whichever you like. Basically, I'm gonna select this one because it is gonna support different versions of operating systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac operating system as well, with different versions as well. Right, so I'm gonna select this uh, unit test project and I'm gonna name this as Selenium with uh, uh, Net Core and I'm gonna hit OK. So this is the latest updated version of Visual Studio 2017, which has the support for .NET Core 2.0 on board. So please install or update your Visual Studio so that you will get the support of .NET Core 2.0 out of the box. Else you need to actually install .NET Core 2.0 yourself and then perform the operation, which is gonna be a pain. So I have already installed that in my machine before I start demonstrating. Because in our previous video, we were actually working on Visual Studio 2017 preview version but this is the full edition so basically it is like a full working version of .NET Core 2.0 available in my machine All right so I'm gonna go to the solution explorer this time and we need to add the dependency of selenium so that we can work with selenium basically so I'm gonna hit the manage NuGet package and then I'm gonna go browse and then I'm gonna search for selenium so if I search for selenium you can see that the latest version right now we have is 3.6.0 and if you click this particular uh, 3.6.0 and if you scroll down all the way down you can see it has the support for .NET standard version 2.0 so basically it supports .NET uh, Core 2.0 as well so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna hit download 
so you can see that it is currently installing series of things for us and then also I'm going to install the uh, selenium support all right and I will quickly install the Geeko driver so that I can uh, work with Firefox driver so uh, I can install that as well so all these three important packages has been uh, downloaded and installed and referenced into my project and now you can see that there is no exclamation mark here stating that this particular uh, version is currently not supported basically it is supported right now which is working fine so we don't have any problem i'm gonna save this as of now and now if i'm gonna write a simple code something like iweb element uh, or first of all iweb driver of driver is equal to new of uh, firefox driver or chrome driver so basically i'm gonna select the uh, maybe I can just choose the Chrome driver and then I'm gonna start writing so driver dot find element so basically I'm gonna uh, work with the uh, exit automations uh, demo website so as you already know that we have a demo website in this particular URL so I'm gonna copy this and then we need to navigate to this particular URL which is uh, driver dot navigate dot go to URL and then I'm going to paste this particular URL in here and then I'm going to find the element by its name I already know the name is actually username so I'm going to give that and then I'm going to send keys of uh, let's say admin so that's the username guy and then we, we need to uh, pass the value for the password and then we need to hit the uh, submit button so it's password and then uh, I guess it is uh, login as the name which we're going to perform the uh, submit operation all right that's the very very simple code and then we need to uh, pass the chrome driver with the driver path as well so uh, basically I installed the geeko driver so why not just try with the uh, with the chrome driver as well so I'm going to download the chrome driver and uh, let's install this particular chrome driver in our machine you can see it still supports windows uh, mac and linux operating system so download that and then we need to paste this particular piece of code so that it can locate the driver within your code so these things we have already discussed in earlier videos in our course so you can just go ahead and watch those videos all right so now we have this particular driver we have passed the driver path and we are navigating this particular url entering some value in there and i'm going to hit login button there that's it that's a very very simple code we're going to do with our traditional automation code we're not really using uh, the page object model yet so we're just going to see if this particular code works fine without any problem so i'm just going to run this particular code so basically you should open the browser and then it should enter uh, the values and things of that nature so you can see that that score is actually working fine it is entering the values like admin and admin and then it is going to hit the uh, login as well so everything is working fine without any problem which is cool now the selenium is actually supported with the dotnet course that's good uh, but the page object model that's what is the uh, that's going to be the problem basically as i already said so if i try to create a class called login page and if I try to create a constructor here and if I use this page factory you will see that the page factory class will not appear so the reason is because if you go all the way to the object browser uh, and just search for the page factory which is available uh, within the web driver dot support package in the page object namespace you can see that the page factory class is actually missing so this is available as a problem only with dotnet core framework not with the dotnet frameworks 4.6.1 4.6.1 is still working fine with this particular class available in them but only in dotnet core 2.0 this particular problem exists so hopefully soon we will see that this particular issue will be addressed and resolved as well all right so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video soon once there is a release i will update this video with a new features and we'll see how to work with page object model in dotnet core in both windows and mac operating system thank you